Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a cinematic moonlight scene using my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K and the Sigma 18-35 f1.8 lens. I'll be sharing with you my personal experience on lighting night scenes. The settings I used in camera were 400 ISO and I set the white balance to 5600 Kelvin daylight and I shot it all at f1.8. So what I'll be using for lights today are the Aperture Amaran 200X bicolor LED light and the Aperture MC RGB mini light and some cheap can lights that I got from a hardware store. And then I used a fog machine which adds some depth in the image and adds a nice beam of light for the flashlight. To power all this I'll be using a portable power bank and a small generator. Okay, what we did first was set up the Amaran 200X on a heavy duty C stand we decided to go with a more stylized look, so I added some blue gels to all the lights to get a nice blue moonlight. I didn't bring enough tape, so I just used some newer clamps to secure the blue gel on there. So I turned it up to 100% just to get the most background as I could, and basically that's all we did for scene number one here. And I just used a Manfrotto 502 series tripod and pumped some fog in there. And this is what we got. I think it turned out pretty good. For scene number two, we have three sources of light. The background light, illuminating the trees back there and giving us some depth. Then we have our key light and our fill light, just making Thomas here stand out a little more from the background, giving some nice separation. So basically we just left the 200X where it was and use the same background for the shot. For the key light, I just used a can light with a blue gel. I used some clothes pins to attach it and then because this light doesn't have a dimmer, I just placed the light at the distance I needed for the amount of light that I needed. And then for the fill light, I used the MC Mini and placed it just off screen here on the right and adjusted the color and brightness to get my desired look. Then we added some fog and panned up with the tripod, and this is what we got. Okay, for scene number three, very simple. All I did here was move a little closer and left the 200X where it was, and I just moved the can light a little closer this time and adjusted it to get this nice edge light on the side of his face. And I used the MC light to backlight Thomas and just make him pop a little more from the background. And we added some fog and we got this really nice beam of light. Okay, scene number four. I left the 200X where it was, and the only light I adjusted was the MC Mini. And then to get this high up, we brought a ladder with us, and I just went handheld because it was easier, but it also fits the scene anyway because he was scared in the scene. And we added some fog, and here it is. Okay, now for my favorite scene. First I used a can light with blue gel on it, and pointed it towards him at the right distance for the desired brightness. And then what we did was take another can light and put an orange gel on there and just ran an extension cord into the hole. And we pointed the light at the boards and the light just bounced off onto his face giving some soft light. And then for the background we just turned the 200X down to 70% and adjusted it slightly. And basically what makes this whole shot work is the fog. It gives any light source a nice glow, and it gives the scene a certain feeling. And that's it. Super simple cinematic lighting setup on a pretty small budget, but it does create something pretty cool. Thanks for watching guys, hope you learned a few things. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more content like this, and like the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks.